Hello gamers, it is Kova Gaming here, and today I figured I'd do a completely brand new re audio recording. Uh, I had a recording already kind of going for this one, but I did it because if you haven't noticed, I'm on a better mic right now. I'm on a Blue Yeti, I just bought it, it's pretty awesome, I'm really actually kind of excited about it. I can't tell you how happy I am. I also, when I was there, I got some Steam money, so I think I'm going to buy a new game for you guys to record. I'm thinking about an indie game. Not quite sure what it's going to be, but I hope to get a video out tomorrow, so be sure to check that out once it's out. But I need to figure out what I want to get first. There's a couple games that are on my mind. I'm not completely positive, so it's gonna. it might be tomorrow. It might not be. You might just see some other gameplay of Hero Brian's return, which wouldn't be bad thing. Like that's not bad. It's just that I'd like to give you a new series, like an indie game. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I hope I get it. I hope I get it out to you guys. But not only did I get a Blue Yeti as I was there, I also got a new mouse. It's a Mad Cat's Rat. Three or five, seven, seven. So it's pretty awesome gaming con uh, mouse. So if you know anything about my channel and if you've seen any of my videos, my mouse tends to go faulty sometimes. It really does. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it gets pretty nasty and I can't move it and it lags. And that was because it was a wireless one. It was a Logitech, so it wasn't a very good one. I got it for like what? five dollars no ten dollars so i mean it was it was honestly a piece of shit so <laughs> i'm happy to say i finally have a great mouse it costed a lot of money but i mean that's all relative it wasn't that much money uh it wasn't that bad it was around fifty dollars sixty dollars my bad the mic yeah sorry i had no idea what i was saying there the mouse costed $50. There we go. Done. <laughs> so that was really awesome. I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's so weird talking into this thing. I've never actually talked into this kind of thing before. I mean, I have, but it's just so weird because I am I used to be using my built-in audio one. Like, so my built-in on my laptop. That wasn't bad, actually. Like, I don't know if any of you guys noticed... It really wasn't that bad, but it was sort of bad in a kind of sort of sense because it wasn't an HD mic. It was kind of a built-in mic, so I'm happy to have an HD one. I'm happy that it's finally working out HD-wise, and the only reason why I got this stuff is because I really, really like making videos for you guys. It's one of my favorite things. It's all out my favorite thing to do, and I... Every day I come home, I check my YouTube. It's one of those things where I just love it so much. It's a lot of fun for me. So I figured making a small investment like this really wouldn't affect anything in the long run. And honestly, I think I'm really happy with getting this. So, hey, if it sounds great, it sounds great. So right now, if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to get a full suit of iron, like a full suit of iron armor. The reason being is because of that ravine, I really want to go in there and get some melon seeds. Because melon seeds are just awesome. They're the best things ever. I don't know actually if it's true or not, but I'm going to guess that melons are better than pork. Cooked pork and cooked pork chops. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say differently, but I'm not completely sure, but I'm almost positive. The only reason why I say that is because they there's so much of them that it accumulates to them. Like, it accumulates the amount of hunger as a pork would. Because, let's say I have a full farm and I have eight melons, okay? And that's going to give me... I don't feel like doing math. But nonetheless, that's what it's going to give me. It's going to give me a lot more than pork. I'm not <laughs> I know that was really confusing, but I don't know. I don't really want to do math. 
I kind of just wanted to say that. I mean, if you guys think differently and you can prove it, go straight ahead, because honestly, that's fine with me. If you think that pork is better than melons, just tell me in the comments below. That's fine, but I really want them, so <laughs> I had to get them. It was a mandatory kind of thing. It was a mandatory, I had to do it. I'm also really excited because last night I was playing with a couple friends of mine, and I realized... I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I play a lot of Xbox. Well, I mean, of course you know this. I, I've put Call of Duty commentaries out there. But, I mean, nonetheless, I like Xbox. It's really awesome. It's one of my favorite things, it, other than YouTube and other than my social life. I mean, Xbox is definitely up there. And they just recently put out the title update for Xbox. And they were supposed to put in texture packs. Now, I'm not really sure what the hell happened with that, because I honestly checked in the marketplace. There was no texture pack, no mashup pack, so I don't exactly know what the point is. Am I supposed to download it from the internet and that's going to be the texture pack, or what? I don't know. It confused the hell out of me. To be honest, I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. But, once I finally got into the game, it was pretty cool. I was pretty happy with it. We now have jungle biomes, we have upside down stairs, so... Come on now, we can start making medieval houses on Xbox? That's awesome. Of course we want to do that. And also, here we go, we're starting in the ravine. So, just so you know. But, I'm really happy about that, because... It, we used to not be able to create amazing medieval houses. Now, I know that's not completely true because I ha I know people, I'm friends with people who can make some insane stuff on Xbox. I know a guy who taught me how to make some medieval houses. His name's Fortress Crafta. If you want to go check him out on YouTube, he's a really great guy. But I know he can make the craziest medieval houses on Xbox. And I had no idea how. Because no medieval, no medieval house doesn't have upside down stairs, but he was able to make it work. Don't even ask me how, because I don't know. I truly have no idea. He was just able to make it work. And they looked phenomenal. He taught me a little bit on how to do it, but I mean, it was nothing compared to what he was making, and I don't know how that was happening. So... It is possible, but now it's even more possible. So I'm really happy about that. Jungle biomes look great. I uh, can't wait to figure out what's up with the texture packs because I know that kind of made me mad. That was really stupid, to be honest with you. I don't know. Whatever Mojang had to do with that, it's kind of annoying. But nonetheless, it's whatever. It's a fine and dandy kind of thing. If it happens, it happens. And I honestly, in this video, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm very tentative in mine shafts. I don't know if I'm the only one who's like that, but honestly, I think my mine shafts are like the freakiest things in the world. Only because there's so many spiders and you have no idea where you're going. No idea. I mean, just imagine if that was you in real life. You got to admit, you'd be scared. I would be scared. Come on now. That it's scary having no idea where you're going, and there's a shitload of spiders everywhere. That's freaky. That is a no-brainer right there. No one wants to do that. Freaky. And that's the same thing with strongholds. Strongholds are also really creepy. Not a fan of that. Eh, not my favorite. But you have to do them in order to get some of the best things in Minecraft. So it's an easy no-brainer. Would I rather get scared a tiny bit and going into them? Oh yeah, creeper. They're the other worst things. Would I rather go into a mine shaft and be scared out of my mind not knowing where I'm going? Because I could turn corners like I just did and find a creeper. Like, are you kidding me? That's scary. That's freaky. That's not the best thing in the world. Like, I play a lot of horror games, so it's not that scary, but it's not like, oh my gosh, that's so simple, not that bad. It's a little bit freaky. Like, even more creepers come right now. But nonetheless, 
I would much rather do that than not have melons or pumpkin seeds or diamonds or anything that mine shafts actually give you. So it's kind of an essential. Also, very happy about 116 subscribers. That's crazy for me. Like, I'm growing. I, I thought I wasn't growing very fast for a while. And then finally, just a couple days ago, I start growing crazy fast. Well, not crazy fast, but crazy fast compared to what we were growing at, which is awesome. Thank you so much for that. I have no one else to thank but you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And also, I've been checking my stats on Social Blade, so that's a thing. I have been doing that. If you don't know what Social Blade is and you're a YouTuber, and you actually do YouTube, and you like YouTube, you don't know what you're doing on YouTube, because Social Blade is the best website for YouTubers. It tells you all of your stats, all the important things. I mean, YouTube has a thing called analytics, or whatever it's called, that you can do it with, but I find it not as informative as it could have been. They could definitely update it and make it a lot better, but... Eh, eh, it's okay. So I went on to Social Blade. Back to my story. <laughs> I tend to go off topic a little bit, a little bit, but back to my story. So I went on Social Blade, and I checked my video views for today and yesterday, and I'm so surprised and so happy. We got 76 video views in one day, which. I know for a lot of people is a lot, but that's awesome. I'm so happy about that because I don't know where 76 video views came in in one day because I just posted one video. So thank you so much to everyone that watched, to everyone that subscribed, and even so, I got six subscribers that day too, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you so much for that. I hope we can boost it up even more today. Maybe even tomorrow, just anything like that. I know this video is coming out a little late, uh, so I know a lot of you might not see it the day it comes out, but sorry about that. I was getting this microphone, and I wanted to record with it before I actually posted a video. That was kind of an important one for me. So sorry about that, but, you know, there's always room for tomorrow. So, And right now I have been uploading daily. I know you guys are liking that. I know I'm liking that. It's bringing serious growth to the channel. So thanks for that. And daily uploading is awesome. <laughs> I definitely don't plan on stopping that. I mean, school is coming up. And I will be focusing on that quite a bit. But I mean, I'm not going to stop uploading. I'm going to try my best to keep up with daily uploads. But if it comes down to it, it might be every other day. Because right now, I have so many videos I can post for you guys. So many ideas, so many everything. So I'm not really too worried about it. I think it'll be fine. So be sure to subscribe if you want daily uploads of your boy Cove of Gaming. It's awesome. And this is just about to be done, guys. It's getting close to it. It's not totally done, but it's getting close. And... It is very hard. I don't know if you guys are YouTubers and if you've ever commentated before, but if you have, commentating for 16 minutes is crazy. <laughs> I can't tell you how. It's not hard, but it runs out of a lot of topics fast. I mean, I've talked about, what, like five or three or four, or five, six things this episode, so I mean, I have talked about a lot, but... There comes to a point where you're just like, I'm at a loss for words. I have no idea what to say. Especially when you're not in the game. Like, right now, I could be saying so many things about the game. But since I'm not in it in the moment, it's a little bit different. A little bit challenging, but, you know, you make it work. Oh, man. And this is where it starts to get crazy because I can't see anything. I honestly don't know what's going on. I couldn't see where anyone was at. I was trying to torch up the place, but then a creeper just exploded. And look at that. Randomly, since the creeper exploded, it blew up right where a chest was. And I never would have seen that unless that creeper helped us. 
So pretty awesome. That's pretty exciting, not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy about that creeper. Most of the time I hate creepers because if, if you remember in the first episode, a creeper blew me up, which was really frustrating. Can't tell you how annoying that was. But we finally got it, Melons, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely does mean a lot. If you like the video, please give it a like down below. It really does help me out. And I'm going to let the music end the video. There's going to only be like eh, 30 seconds, minute left. So I hope you guys enjoy the music that's playing at the very end. And with love, Kova out.